Hello, welcome back to Kelly Arts and with another one of our monthly painting projects. This month the theme chosen to me is obedience and that was very confusing how I'm going to represent obedience in painting so I chose to do blind obedience. So I found an image online showing mannequin with some leather straps wrapped around his head and I'm going to use that to represent blindness and I'm going to have three mannequins to give the idea that it's something that affects groups of people, not just individuals. And right here is our wonderful drawing that we're going to start with. So we are going to start by blocking in our background. We're just going to go kind of abstract this time with some gray gradations. I had to add the part about actually doing the drawing to the video because that way I can show you kind of my thought process and what the painting is going to look like as I do it. Getting a little bit darker on the bottom, nothing major. I'm using the pouring medium to kind of make it flow nicer. Otherwise, the acrylic will just dry too fast for my taste and you can't really get on canvas mixing. The flow medium lets it stay wet longer so I can get a little bit of mixing on canvas, which is what you need really to get a nice gradation. I'm just kind of blending up some of the blotchy spots right there. I'm gonna go up and down, left and right, just to kind of really get rid of any really heavy brush strokes that I'm getting. Very nice, I think. Our next day we see Jamie hanging out here now that the canvas is dry and we got our drawing on. Very fancy Kelly as always. Jamie, my little unicorn friend, um, decided they wanted to watch today so they're just going to hang on top of the canvas and make sure I'm doing a good job. So right now I'm just kind of blocking in some uh, generic white color. It's got some brown mixed into it. I'm using a combination of burnt sienna, burnt umber, a little bit of black. Not a very big palette of colors for this one. It's going to be fairly monochrome-ish. Um, not black and white, but more like brown and white more than anything else. Um, the mannequins in the photograph that I found look like they're kind of made out of a burlap with some pretty heavy lighting on them so they get some darker shadows. I'm going to try to represent that as I go along. We'll have to see at the end if I'm successful at giving good shadows. Right now I'm mostly just kind of giving the idea of the shape with some indication of the shadows wasn't happy with the light color that I started with. Go with something slightly darker, holding off and doing the middle one until I get the other ones done. I don't know why. It was an arbitrary decision to do that. Plus the fact that I could go over the lines a little bit with the two back ones because the middle one is going to be up close compared to the other ones. So I can paint out of the lines if I need to with them and just know that I'm just going to be covering up with the middle line. Anyhow. Okay, here we can see that I'm starting to get a little bit more into the shadow. The paint, um, the lighter color paint is still somewhat wet. I am using some of the flow medium just so I can get the nice gradations the best I can and just trying to work on some of the shadow. Probably would be better if I would have waited till I dry it a little bit, but I want to get as much done as I can. Half of doing a paint is actually, you know, coming up with the design and the layout first. I mean, putting the color in is really the fun part, but it's kind of the last part. So when I do these monthly paintings, I take a couple weeks just really to figure out what the heck I'm going to do because I've been picking people from my list of friends and family to give me these ideas. And some of these people come up with something really abstract, like obedience. How the heck do you do a painting that shows the idea of obedience. I mean, please comment below what you would think obedience should look like, other ideas what I could have done for obedience. Let's keep it clean, people. There's a lot of things for obedience that probably aren't safe for work type of thing. <laughs> Here we go, next day, working the paint's nice and dry. Jamie decided to take the day off, apparently. Maybe we'll see them later. 
you know, what can you do about little plushy ponies? They make up their own minds. You know, your mind's made out of fluff. What can you do? So here, just trying to get some shadow underneath the chin. There's also going to be shadow that will run down the neck and along the sides. Human form is one of the hardest things to paint, I would say. Just the odd shapes, the rounded shapes, especially when there's a harsh shadow on it. You know, if it's a light shadow, you can kind of achieve some blendings, but if it's a heavy shadow, you gotta go stark, and then I don't know, you gotta be really sure about what you're painting. Otherwise, it can look very flat very easily. Hopefully at the end of the day, it doesn't look all that flat. I've had people comment when I showed this painting afterwards that they thought you know, the picture was like actual mannequins in the foreground. So I'll take that as a compliment that I won in the end and was very successful. Um, you notice that I don't have the blindfolds on at this point. Uh, I'm just trying to get the shape done. If I had the blindfolds already there and I'm like trying to paint around it, it just becomes a nightmare. I think I made the right decision just to sketch them on afterwards and then paint them in. And my last painting I talked about trying to work a nice leather color. And this painting I definitely have to um, work on that because the blindfolds are just leather wraps. So I need to represent them with individual strips of leather which has their own highlight and shadow. So when we get to that point we'll see if I'm successful. Right here, I'm trying to indicate the shoulder where the arm would be. I don't know. Um, the mannequins kind of had a seam there, but I really didn't like that idea. I'm not trying to show mannequins, I'm trying to show people. You know, it's an abstraction of people, but I mean, people don't have creases where their arms get attached. You know, unless you've lost your arm, and then I suppose you do. But. That one there for a while looks like we had some funky banks going on, but fix the haircut. <laughs> Let's get under the chin there. Blend it all in. Don't want a harsh line. Got to blend it then. Of course, you get too much light color on your paint and you got to go back and forth several times, which is it's helpful to have. The paint's still mixable on the canvas, otherwise you're going to be starting over every time. So that's the beauty of oil paints, that you can just keep working it back and forth until you get a nice blend that you want. Acrylics not so much, so pouring medium helps, definitely. And it does a better job than water. I used to water, use water all the time, but it was just thin it. All right, here, paint's dry again next day, and we are sketching in the blindfolds. Trying to curve it to show the roundness of the face and the crisscrossing of the bands. And Jamie is back, make sure I'm doing my job. <laughs> All right, we'll use some burnt sienna with some white mixed in to kind of get the base of the leather straps. At this point, I'm not too worried about the shadow. I just want to get the colors blocked in. We'll let it dry a little bit before we get too intense with it. But I also want to make sure that I have enough color difference between the individual bands that I don't forget how many and what I have there because I got to wait a little bit for it to dry enough. And this one I left the gap in the middle there because I don't want some variety. I come in later and fill it in after I decide, eh, it looks like he's peeking or they're peeking. I don't really have a gender here. So I end up just filling it in, making like a band that's underneath. I really dislike how the phone and my camera will bounce 
when I like pass slightly in front of it, it like tries to find a zoom level. I really need to spend the money on a real camera. This has been really bad when I'm doing the Inktober challenge, which is also on my channel. And I have the camera in the ring light mount, which currently isn't on. I learned my lesson. I'm going to worry about that this time with this painting. But if I get too close, it'll bounce and it's really, really noticeable there too because it's really close. And I have it essentially almost perfectly on top of my desk, you know, looking almost straight down. So any kind of bouncing is really obvious. I'll try to do some stabilization in the video when I go and edit it again. Um, no promises. That's kind of a hit or miss thing. With I've been using the DaVinci Resolve software. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but I saw YouTubers advertising and decided to give it a shot. It's pretty good. There's some things that are locked behind a paywall. If you want to get some really elaborate stuff. Fortunately, the image stabilization isn't too bad. You don't have to pay for that. But if you want to do like color stabilization, then yeah, you're going to have to shell out the money for the application. It's, I don't know if I want to pay that right now, especially if I got to buy a camera. Here I am adding some shadows to the underside of each individual bands. I've already filled in the one gap like I had mentioned earlier. I'll add highlights to the bands as well to give a little edge highlight, make it pop a little bit better. At the end of the day, I really like this painting. It took me a long time to figure out how I was going to show obedience. I already got my idea for next month. It's going to be eerie, so I need to figure out how to do eerie. Now I got the work. I don't have the idea yet, so we'll have to see what I come up with that. This video is kind of late coming out. I don't know if I would want leather straps fastened around my head as a blindfold. That seems rather uncomfortable, especially if you sweat. Can you imagine the smell of having to have a leather blindfold for hours on end? Imagine like it's summertime and it's like really hot outside and you're sweating and you're being led through the woods or something like that. Wow, that went dark fast. <laughs> I can hear my wife. She's like, okie dokie. And we're done here. Let's get our signature in the corner. Nice and fancy K. The one nice thing about the flow medium, I keep talking about that, but it makes doing the signature so much nicer. Nice little swoop. Thumbs up. Yeah, I think we did a good job, Kelly. Good job. Here we go. Taking a closer look at it. I did a wash of the brown on top of the pieces. I don't know if that was a good idea. I'm not sure I like that. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and share the video. It really does help to spread the word out. And thank you for watching.